Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is a, a updated video about outlines. So such uh, lines here. Okay. So there are three main options to create outlines. First is duplicate the mesh and use inverse culling. Second is post-processing, the curvature feature. And the third one is the outline option. This here, the third one is this outline thing here, but it's only the outline of the object. And you find it um, here in the display settings outline or here in the bottom menu, I think uh, here's also the outline option. So you can turn it on and off. And you can change here, here the outline here on off, and you can change the color. So a black outline, I use always a red one, sorry. So like this, and here you can change also the thickness. So yeah, maybe like this. Okay, this is option three, and you can combine all options. You can combine inverse culling, post-processing and outline yeah, like you want. Okay, so I turn the outline here off. Okay, then the next thing here is post-processing. Here, here is post-processing and activate the checkbox and you see here now there are black outlines and this curvature feature here the checkbox activates the outlines so and you can control here the color and so on um, like you want and use here the sliders to control the um, yeah how intense the outlines are or here the thickness slider to yeah to change the things here and also the the factor um an interesting thing about this curvature thing here is here sorry i have to um i have to scroll to the top you see here the smooth shading option. So at the moment, smooth shading is off. So the smooth shading affects the curvature here. So smooth shading on off. And here at the moment, this is also, uh, you see here the wireframe. So this makes also a difference. Um, the edges here, when you look close, uh, the edges here are not sharp edges, they are soft soft edges. Uh, so a little bit of smoothing is here on the edges and then you get a nicer um, curvature um, outline. So you have to play a little bit with it. So as you see, and I turn smooth shading off and then it's a complete different effect. So, okay. And yeah, here play with the, with the settings here. You see the difference. Okay, so I turn this off. So no post-processing. So I use now this mesh here and I move it to the top. And the last one here is number one, first duplicate the mesh and use inverse culling. So you can create a clone. Then you have two uh, helmets. And then please add a layer for this. So add a layer for this mesh. And now we can change the color. So 
I paint it now black. This is the outline color, paint all. So, and I use solo view, so we only see at the moment this mesh here. And the next thing is, so I turn, I turn off solo view. And now here in the material menu, you find here option to inverse culling. So press this. Now it switches to my um, backside color. So this is two-sided. So this is this option here. And this is my color for the back face color. So you see here, the color changes. But we don't need here two-sided. So turn it off here. And now use here the inflate option. So inflate the mesh a little bit. Sorry. So you see here the outline appears. And I go a step back and don't do it too much. So inflate it only a little bit. So like this here. Okay. And here is uh, also a setting here you can use here always unlit. So uh, at the moment you don't see a difference, but um, it's better to use always unlit. So you get nice outlines. And the layer is here the layer. So via the layer you can control here the, the thing here. And you can control also the offset. So you can control here in a negative or a positive direction the outlines. So you see here um, the outline gets sharper or thicker like you want. So 100% is the first setting what you used and okay. So the next thing here with this thing here is I'm using here a solo view and I turn the paint off and I turn the wireframe on. You see here we use a lot of um, yeah, poly count for only the outlines or the outlines and it's also possible to um, uh, reduce this. So you can use here decimation and here only topology is active and decimate the mesh down. So in fact now we have 3000 uh, vertices. So this is a helmet. It looks like this. And I turn now solo off and wireframe off and yeah and activate the paint. So you see here almost no difference but you save a lot of uh, poly count. So, so this is in, uh, these uh, are nice outlines, and as I said, you can combine it with the other outlines. So you can turn on this outline and change it to black. So then you have a sharper outline on the edges and like this. Okay, this is a basic workflow. Um, yeah, and um, you can use also post processing. So activate post processing and uh, activate the the curvature feature. So so then yeah. Have fun. Do what you want. Um, <laughs> <coughs> So this is all about, I know about outlines um, at the moment. 
Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.